Hey, you guys! Uh, it is March 19th, Monday. Um, I am back at school. Um, yeah, yesterday went okay. Um, I was really nervous about coming back to school, so it was nice that my mom drove me. Um, sorry if you hear that annoying noise in the background, that's the fan because it is really warm today and sunny and I love it. I'm very happy. Um, yeah, I slept really well last night. I had like a fan up by my bed, so that was good. Um, yeah. Hi. Um, okay, I had typed out my responses to Joe and Anna's video and then I copied it, and I was going to put it somewhere else, but then I accidentally copied something else. Um, so it is erased for forever, so I'll just have to try to remember it. Joe. Oh, wait. I'm going to do what Joe did, like, response time! Like, I think that's what he did. I don't remember, but it was funny. It made me laugh. Um, yeah. You made me laugh, like, really, really hard when you were fangirling, and I thought it was super adorable. And then you started being all sad, and I was mad at you for doing that. Because you were like, you know, being all sentimental. I'm like, okay, when I'm sappy, it's sappy. When you, like, your definition of you being sappy is like pulling my heart out and like squeezing it and then shoving it back in. Like, you made me really, like, happy sad. Does that make sense? I think it does. Anyway, um, I'm really sorry about your great-grandmother. Hugging. Hugging! Okay, um, but really I am sorry for your loss. Um, but I think the blog thing is a fantastic idea. Um, so I made one for us. Like, I, I probably should have asked you if I could do that first, but I made it, and I posted the link in our Facebook group. Um, yeah. So it's there, and I did my first entry last night. I just think it's a really good idea. I personally would love to have more time to reflect, and you all write so beautifully, and... I think it'd be great. I think it's a really good idea. Also, I like the like reading Harry Potter like book club thing. I are you serious? Did I take it home? Oh no. Oh, I can't believe I took it home. I had the first book here and now it is not here. I could borrow it from my roommate, but she's very particular about her books, so I'll just get it from the library. Uh, I'm going to the library. <coughs> um, that's me. I'm going to the library, I think, either tomorrow, Tuesday, or Thursday. Probably Thursday. Um, so I will get the first book then, and I would love to read along with you, or like, partially along with you. Um, right now, I have a lot to read. I have to read a um, King Arthur book thing for my history class, and then I'm reading, um, I don't know if you guys have ever read The Inheritance Cycle, which is like Aragon, an eldest, their dragon fantasy novel things. Well, I'm reading the fourth one of that, and also after that, I want to read Perks of Being a Wallflower, which is that um, book that Emma Watson is coming out in the movie version of it. Wow, I said that really weird. There's going to be a movie based on the book, and Emma Watson is going to be in it. Um, so I'd really like to read the book. Um, Hunger Games comes out this week. I am very excited. I love the Hunger Games. I always forget if you guys have read them or not, but if you haven't, you really should, because they're really good. Um, my hair looks 
pretty nice right now. I'm content. Um, probably won't look that nice after I make this video because that's how my life goes. Um, but for right now, I'm liking it. Um, oh, wow, Joe, I got really sidetracked. Um, but I love you, and your hair looked really cute in that video. And yeah, you just look like you're doing well, and I hope you are. Like, for a while, in your past couple of videos, you've seemed not, like, not yourself, but just really tired and run down. But in this video, you seemed very excited and happy, which is totally the epitome of Joe, um, which made me laugh. Um, before I respond to Anna, this is your Batman merchandise spoiler of the day. I will show you this really cool thing. It's a, uh, one of the new buttons. It's a star kit on it. It's got like weird purple rainbow clouds. Um, like, okay, I think, I'm not sure if I have this right, but I'm pretty sure Ann Arbor T-Shirt Company is out of business, or going out of business, because the people selling, or the guys selling the merchandise at Batman didn't seem like an Ann Arbor guy. Like, he didn't have an Ann Arbor T-Shirt or whatever, but he was wearing, like, because it was St. Patrick's Day, he was wearing, like, imported from Detroit and it was like a green shirt. He was really funny. Very cute. Um but it just it didn't seem like Ann Arbor because like the t shirts had this special like I don't think you can see it behind me. It's up on my poster board with all my John Green Darren fangirly stuff. Um they were like wrapped and had like this star kid like paper thing around it and like I don't know. It just didn't seem like Ann Arbor, so I'm not sure. I would feel really bad if they went out of business because, I mean, I like them and I've obviously supported them. Um, but yeah. But I have like this, um, I have my desk lamp here, and underneath it I have like a whole bunch of pins. Um, I'm this stuff. Like, um,. Well, I have this pin, and then I have a pin that says marriage is a human right, not a heterosexual privilege. Um, I have my Obama for America buttons. Um, I have a Batman pog. I don't know if you guys remember what pogs were, but, like, you would, like, collect them and, like, play a game with them, I guess. I don't know. My brother. It was more of my brother's thing. But, um... It says, hats off to Batman. There it is. Um, and I thought it was appropriate. Um, then there's my whole new musical Batman button. Um, so yeah. Um, I have been talking a lot more with SLM lately. And just, I think I said this in my last video or something. All those people are so nice. Um, yeah. Um, one of the girls met Darren. I guess Darren was at Holy Musical Batman Saturday night, because I went to the matinee on Saturday. I guess he was there on Saturday night, and, um, she said that he looked, like, really tired and upset, and, like, I feel bad, because if you think about it, Darren has been in, like, constant spotlights since a while. <laughs> and I just feel bad that he's never really had a break, <laughs> you know? Um, so I'm hoping this summer, like, I, I know a lot of people are hoping that this summer, since there's no Glee tour, that they'll finally do a Very Potter threequel. But I actually hope that they don't so that Darren can relax. I'm afraid he's gonna like burn himself out or like get hurt or mess up his vocal cords or something something bad. So 
I really hope, you know, I could wait another year for a very Potter 3 goal. I could wait 10 more years for a very Potter 3 goal, so long as Darren has time to just relax and spend time with his friends and not be crowded by us. <laughs> Us as in, like, the collective Star Kid Glee fandom of girls. Um, so yeah. Okay, Anna, it was so good to see your face. I missed your face. Your beautiful face. Um, yeah. I'm really glad that you're excited about your play. But, at the same time, I'm really upset that I can't go. Um. Uh, that is the weekend, like, of my finals. Like, I have a final that Saturday. So, I can't come home, but I really wish I could. Um, yeah, I know you are going to be amazing. And, yeah, I, yeah. Um, about your writing program thing, I think it's kind of funny that, like, you hear about that by April 1st, and, or around April 1st, and I hear about my study abroad thing by or around April 1st. So, I wish you all the luck in the world. I know if you don't get in, it won't be because you're not an amazing writer, because you are. <laughs> so good. Um, but yeah. I really hope you get in, because you deserve it. Um, I'm sorry you haven't been writing very much. That sounds awkward, like, dealing with the whole, like, wanting to switch instructors and having to switch barns and stuff. Um, I, like, used to take piano lessons, and I really didn't like the teacher I had, but I wanted the teacher my brother had, and they both taught in the same building, in, like, the same hallway. And so I remember how awkward it was, like, when I switched. Um, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can't really give you any advice. I'm just saying I sympathize with you. Um, what else did you talk about? I can't remember because the weather is so freaking nice right now. I'm just in bliss. Um, yeah. Good luck with your busy week. I think you have a busy week. I think you said that. And if you didn't say it, I'm sure you probably do anyway. Um, have fun at Holy Musical Batman. You'll love it. You'll laugh so much. I think, you know, I'm proud of myself that I haven't said anything yet because right now I could just say everything. Wow, this video is long. This is like Joe length video almost. Okay, well, I'm gonna go work on homework now. Um, I have to write an essay about a restaurant in German has to be 300 words long, so wish me luck. Joe, I feel like if I would ask you questions about it, that that would be cheating, so I won't. But, oh, Molly, did you get tickets to Book of Mormon? If so, I'm very happy for you and your mom. I wish I could go with you. Um, but yeah, that's, that's really exciting for you. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna go. I love you guys very much. Um, start writing in the blog. Joe, um, figure out a schedule or something for reading Harry Potter, and yeah, okay, I love you, bye!